Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Kels Hits here from YouTube TV. Welcome back for another official video. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you are returning, well, again, welcome back. Let's get straight into it. Man, what do we have here, man? First, we start off with Drake versus Kendrick. That's been going crazy. I think that might have died down. But now in the sports world, in the world that I really care about and pay attention to, we have Shaquille O'Neal versus Shannon Sharp. Now, Shannon, Star Shannon Sharp started off, first of all, let me go back. Shaquille O'Neal first started off by saying to Nikola Jokic by winning his third MVP about how he's his you know, favorite player, best big, big man in the league, best player in the league. But he felt that Shea Gillius Alexander should have won MVP this year. I'm going to be the first here to quickly say I feel the same way. It's unfortunate that Shea did not win it, but hands down, Jokic with the season that he had almost averaging a triple-double, Dominating the big man left and right. Uh, Joel and B being injured played a huge factor. And I think in Nikola Jokic winning this one as well. Because I do think Joel could have went back to back. But the more exciting player this year. The more exciting team this year. The more exciting things to cover this year. With Shea Gillius Alexander. And the Oklahoma City Thunder. And especially with their head coach winning. Head coach of the year. Especially with them being the number one seed. And everything. I really feel like this was the year for a new MVP. A new face. A new Young guy, especially with Shea Gillies Alexander, to win it. Now, back to what Shannon Sharp said about Shannon Sharp versus Shaq. Now, Shannon Sharp went on Nightcap, you know, with him and Ocho and went on there to say that he feels him and Gilbert Arenas, they, they all chimed in and chipped in and all felt in that Shaquille O'Neal didn't work hard enough, or nearly as hard enough as, a, say, as a, a Shannon Sharp or as a his former teammate Kobe Bryant. You feel me? I, they feel, Shannon Sharp feels that if Shaquille O'Neal would have worked hard enough, he would not be as jealous as he is of other people, other big men and other players because he only has one MVP and Nikola Jokic now has three MVPs in the last four seasons alone, surpassing Shaq easily. Now, we all do know and all feel that Shaq is the most dominant big man ever to play the game. And Shannon Sharp revolutionized the tight end position. But as far as them going back and forth and beating it and Shaq dropping a diss track, a diss track, that's what made me think of this whole thing is more so of a joke because, you know, the Drake versus the Kendrick thing. So, of course, Shaq is a DJ and everything. So I kind of did expect a diss track. But Shaq and Shannon Sharp over here going back and forth and falling out about the MVP and about work ethic and about past history and about past accomplishments. You know, Shaq uh, mentioning how Shannon Sharp is only the 51st best player to ever play the in the NFL and Shaq is a top 10 player, you know, saying G14 classification and all these other things. I personally feel as if, even if in Shannon Sharp should be the 51st best player to ever play the game of football, that's not no knock. Now, of course, Shaq is the most dominant big man ever and, of course, top 10 in the NBA ever to play the game, of course. But there is no knock on neither one of these guys. And the fact that these two are beefing is literally hilarious. You know, uh, of course, we're not going to get a diss track from Shannon Sharp. You guys can forget about it. You already can see on his nightcap show, he is trying to th uh, uh, die this thing down and put it to bed. But I really did think it was hilarious and funny to see these two go back and forth. I do want to know, what do you guys think, you know? Um, should Shaq and Shannon Sharp be feuding? Should should this have blown up as big as it is? Should this be a big of a problem between these two? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. And I really do. <laughs> I see in 2024, it's been a whole lot of beef and a whole lot of back and forth, whether it's in the music world and the sports world. And I'm just waiting to see what happens next.